Hello and welcome to Broadcast Beats pre-IBC show coverage. Today we have a very special announcement, an exclusive announcement with Will Waters, Director of Product Marketing of New Tech. How you doing, Will? Doing great. Very glad to be here. Well, thanks so much for being with us. So you guys have a massive announcement today. Uh, let's just, before we get into that real quick, let's talk about the evolution of IP and broadcast. Absolutely. You know, well, you know, New Tech, New Tech is very uh, keen to, to be uh, taking a look at what's going on with the IP space and how video can be can take advantage of really what IP networks can deliver right within the live production area. And to to that, you know, New Tech has even gone as far as creating uh, the network device interface, or commonly known as NDI. Now we brought that to the market a year ago at IBC, and since then it's just been an absolute. Uh, wonder as far as the the response. I mean, we knew it was going to be uh, well received, but it's just it met every expectation and then passed some. Uh, as far as those that are developing with it, uh, uh, other companies within the industry taking a hold of that and then starting to move that video around in the in the IP space, but it, definitely in the live environment. Okay, so let's talk about the various components as part of the system. Yeah, well, we have a number of components, and this is what we're announcing today. It's the New Tech IP series. And it comprises of four different products that, that we have available today. Uh, the nucleus of the system is something we call the New Tech VMC1 Video Mix Engine. Now this is where it's a whole new thought or how to do video switching in the production facility. And what this allows for is quite a few, quite a large number of inputs to be able to be brought in as well as uh, internally generated sources so that all of that can be put together and stories can be told. So each mix engine can bring up to 44 live inputs simultaneously. And you know, that's a pretty big deal because every one of those can also support their own alpha channel. So, you know, there's none of this, you know, having to have separate key and fill information when you're working with, with graphics channels. This is true sources that can be brought in from anywhere on the network. In addition to that, there are four DDRs so that you can do playback as well as a host of animation buffers, just a whole host of sources to be brought in, mixed together uh, with up to eight ME banks, as well as you know, all the things that you know, New Tech is known for, such as live virtual sets, uh, recording capability, uh, automation controls, you know, qu all that is, is pretty spectacular right within the mix engine. So I can picture this being used in all sorts of environments, small broadcast, large broadcast, uh, houses of worship, uh, high school broadcast facilities. Uh, wh who's this market intended for? Well, the, you know what? This market is, New Tech has a wide range of customers. Now, we would say this particular product is, is probably best suited for those that uh, you know, are moving a lot of video around. So you would say broadcasters, but just like uh, what you mentioned, you know, houses of worship have a lot of needs to move the video around to different places. Uh, corporate education, you know, depending on the level of production. But you know, one of the things that's really important, and we listen to our customers, now we're talking about IP here. But SDI is still something that's very prevalent within the industry, and of course that infrastructure is there. And to that end, I, I just like to, to make sure that, that your viewers are aware that you know, what New Tech is delivering with the IP series is SDI compatibility along with this IP flexibility. And to that end, we also have some modules that allow for that type of interface. We have what we call the studio input module that allows for four SDI connections to be delivered into the ecosystem and it can be worked with with any of the mix engines. And here's why that's important is that you can have that in the studio wherever your studio is on the facility. So for instance, if you are a broadcaster, you have studios around that you may already have SDI infrastructure to be brought uh, everything brought back and co-located together. But say you're in more of an education scenario where you might have cameras that need to, to be all, all the way across the campus. You can then bring all of that back into the mix engine utilizing the network and the infrastructure that's there. And of course, having that SDI compatibility, you might have to deliver that back out to either linear broadcast or to other encoders or to what other devices that are currently utilizing the SDI uh, cabling and that's where we get into the output module. And the output module delivers four outputs that all have their own keying layers. But of course, all of these products 
can ISO record every one of those video channels. And what's great about it is that you can stack these up and configure it as necessary so that it truly uh, fits your production needs. So Will, what will the long-term implications of this approach to production be? You know, we see this, we're really excited about what the future holds for all of this. Now, of course, all this is available today, but when you think about how video systems have to be put together, you know, there's a lot of circuitry and very dedicated circuitry that goes into those system design. Well, this is a new take on it because this is software-driven live production. And when you start putting things into software and you have the power of GPUs that can move the video and process them as necessary, you can start stacking all of these different components together and really have a limitless possibility to the production. Okay, Will, so talk about that huge control surface right behind you. Absolutely. You know, at the heart of every production is the ability to control what's going on within the, the production. You, you need to be able to mix that. So the new tech VMC1 4S, that's a four stripe control surface. You see it just over my shoulder here. It's a fantastic service giving precision control directly for the operator to be able to, to bring in all the particular elements. Uh, there are LCD panels to, so that when the different functions are brought together. Uh, the operator can easily see what uh, goes on there. Uh, precision T-bar control. We know from our customers that having that correct button press and the feel as well as the, the having a T-bar that is completely responsive is absolutely vital to have that comfort and that confidence in the, in the video production. Uh, it also has two joysticks so that you can utilize PTZ control or be able to drive virtual cameras within the environments or even DVE moves and pretty much anything that the mix engine delivers. Uh, finally, it also has some media control elements as well as number keypads so that you can bring about full automation and of course, being able to connect to multiple mix engines so that your production can grow as necessary. Oh, that's very exciting. All right, so Will, where can we get some more information? Great, you can get information uh, today right on the NewTek website. That's www.newtech.com. Of course, IP series will be right there on the main page. And of course, we'll also be at IBC. You know, make sure to stop by the booth. You'll uh, see us there. We'll have this uh, to be able to, to, to run with, to touch buttons. You'll actually see it live in action. All right, again, Will Waters, Director of Product Marketing at New Tech. We're going to see at the 2016 IBC show in Amsterdam just a few days away. Hall 7, Stan K11. See you there.